Hey, this is Peter and welcome to another Take a Break with Valley CAD. In today's video, what we're going to be talking about is something new for SOLIDWORKS 2021 and it has to do with the SOLIDWORKS drawing set of features. We're going to be talking about chain dimensioning and also baseline dimensioning and how we can interchange those two. So go get your favorite cup of coffee or tea. Let's hop on over to SOLIDWORKS to learn something new about SOLIDWORKS 2021. I'll see you over there. Hey there, welcome to SOLIDWORKS. So I got a simple cube here, um, just to show you a little anatomy on it. What I did was I just simply came in with a simple boss base extrude, and it's just a simple uh, square that's made on my front plane, and I extruded it out so it's six inches all together. So it's just a simple square there. Then from there, I came in with the hole wizard and I did a 3 8 uh, depth blind hole there. And it's just a simple hole. And then from after that, I created a tapped hole. That's a 3 8 16 Then after that, I came in and created an axis. And I used that to create a circular pattern of these set of holes to come over onto this other face over here. All right, now that you saw how I made this part, we need to come in and make a drawing file. And I'm gonna show you what's something new with 2021. So simply coming up here to our file and we're going to say make a drawing from part. From here, I'm going to say, you know, let's use our Valley CAD size, a template size, and that's going to make an A size sheet for me. From here, you'll see that SOLIDWORKS has these set of icons on the right side of my screen open. This is called your view palette and the view palette lives within your task pane. Okay, so you might see the view palette icon in your part file or assembly files, but it, nothing really happens out of it. This is where the view palette kicks in for you. So you'll see that I have a view here that says front and then I see top, right, back, left, bottom, ISO, you know, you can read it. But I'm gonna say, I wanna drop in my front view. So with it selected, drag it over and let go. And then from there, SOLIDWORKS will automatically drop in your front view for you. Now watch this. If I move my cursor to the right, guess what I get now? I get a right side view. Then if I move my cursor kind of at a 45 degree angle up, it'll create an isometric view for me. So without moving my cursor though, I'm just gonna simply right click because I see that icon next to my cursor now. And that's saying, hey, do you confirm this? I'll say yes, and that gets me out of the command like that. All right, so you'll also see here that, you know, my my sheet looks good, but these views look a little small. I want them a little bit larger. Um, if you notice in your status bar, it's right below my head here, and you'll see it says one four on it. That's where you could come in and change your scale factor. Now, when I click on it, unfortunately my head's gonna be in a way. I'm very sorry about that. But if you're on 2021, you'll be able to notice on here that there's a thing here called uh, user defined. And what that will do is it'll bring up a new window for you. And this is also new for 2021. And it could change a scale factor here. So let's say I want this to be a scale of one to three. With that, it will then change all the views so that we are now at a scale of one to three. All right, so you also notice as I dropped in my views, that SOLIDWORKS came in and dropped in this 3 8 16 tapped hole. That's awesome, it's automatically dropping in annotations for me. But I'd rather show a hole call out that gives a little more information. You know, I wanna see, hey, what type of hole do I need to drill out in order to accommodate this type of tap? So what I wanna do is simply delete that dimension or note call out. And what I wanna do is come up here to where it says hole call out. And by the way, I'm under my annotation tab and you'll see hole call out there. Clicking on that, so Arx is gonna allow you to come in and if you have a feature that's a hole wizard feature, if I come over and click on that circle, SOLIDWORKS will come in and it'll automatically calculate the quantity for me. So you'll see it says times 10 on there. And this 0.313, the depth of 0.938, that is SOLIDWORKS way of saying, hey, you need this size drill bit to create your first hole so that way you could come in with a 3816 unified course thread tap. Pretty awesome, huh? So that's a really cool way. That's not new for 2021, but it's it's just such a cool thing. I always love being able to show that to people. So what I do wanna show you that's new for 2021 as well is how to come in with different dimensioning schemes. And one of the newest ones was chain dimensioning. Now, 
Chain dimensioning is something that you might have done on your own multiple times already. And chain dimensioning is where you come in, you start on an edge and you click on, like for instance, a circle here. Then what you'll do next is you'll click on this circle that you just dimensioned and you'll click on the one above it. And then you'll come in and do the next one. This is called chain dimensioning. You are linking each component to each other. All right, so SOLIDWORKS now made this to where it's in one command. So it can actually speed up your modeling here or your dimensioning, I should say. So with, I'm just gonna, I just simply deleted those guys. What I wanna do is come back up to smart dimension, but instead of clicking on smart dimension, I'm gonna click on the drop down arrow. If you, if you don't know this yet, SOLIDWORKS actually has multiple other dimensioning schemes here. One of my favorite ones that I use is actually ordinate dimensioning. If we have time, maybe I'll show that to you guys here in this video as well. So the one that I do wanna talk about is chain dimensioning. Clicking on this, if I come now over here and I click on this bottom edge, you'll notice that SOLIDWORKS highlights it, but it doesn't do anything yet. What it's technically doing is saying, hey, here's my datum edge. I wanna base things off from this. So now if I come up and I click on this circle here, SOLIDWORKS will drop in that dimension. Then if I come up to the next one, it's gonna drop in the next set. And as you notice, it's coming from the previous hole. And I just keep moving up the line like so, and it'll drop in a chain dimensioning all the way to the top. Pretty awesome, huh? So, and as you can see here, it is a little cramped. It, you know, I might have to make my view a little bit larger and so forth, but you know, you get the point here with chain dimensioning. And you'll notice that these guys are all linked to each other, meaning that, that they will always move together. SOLIDWORKS automatically spaced them out for me. So that is using chain dimensioning. The other style of dimensioning that, that's been around is called baseline dimensioning. And baseline, what that is, is you come over here, click on that drop down, you start on an edge again, just like last time, and you go through and you click on the circles again. But instead of coming off from the previous circle, SOLIDWORKS is coming in and it's utilizing that datum edge and it's dimensioning off from there. Pretty cool, right? Now, one thing to also note that's really cool with SOLIDWORKS 2021 is being able to come in here and if I came in, I deleted this 4.5 there, SOLIDWORKS will just automatically move the other dimensions in and it'll make it so that it spaces it out nicely. That also works for chain dimensioning. If I come to that, let's say that one and three eighths there and I delete that, so Arcs will come in and say, oh, okay, so we're gonna dimension from this circle to that one now. Pretty awesome, huh? So that is really neat that Solarks can do that for you. But also, let's say you did come in with a baseline dimensioning and you'd rather show this so it's in chain mode, so chain dimensioning. What I can easily do is right click on any of these dimensions, which I already did, and you'll notice here it says, hey, convert to chain. So Arx will come in and convert it to a chain for me. And guess what? This also works the other way. So if I have a chain dimension, I can say convert to base. And you'll notice here that since I deleted that one circle there, if I right click on one of these dimensions, there is an add to baseline. So now I can come in here, click on that, and SOLIDWORKS will bring that entity back in at dimension for me. That also works with chain dimensioning. So just simply push an escape once, come up here and right click on any of those dimensions that are part of that chain. And you'll say, hey, add to chain. I wanna click on that circle there. And there you'll see that one and three eighths came back as well. So that is what's new for SOLIDWORKS 2021. Be able to come in and create chain dimensioning and baseline dimension. Baseline has been there for a while, but being able to convert in between the two styles is a really cool trick. So hopefully you learned something new out of that and you enjoyed that cup of coffee, right? I didn't get to because this guy had to talk the entire time, but hey, have a great rest of the day and make sure you learn something new. I'll see you later.